My name is Dylan from the Edmonton. I'm interviewing Councillor Michael Murphy up in the new skate park in Toronto. Well, Dylan, first of all, I'm delighted to meet you. Uh, I got a letter in the post from uh, Dylan uh, during the week asking me a number of different questions about yeah. uh, the sports hub. So I'm delighted to be here to meet uh, Dylan in person uh, to walk around the uh, sports hub uh, with Dylan. Admire this wonderful facility, have a chat about the facility and maybe then answer any, um, any questions that you have, uh, Dylan. But I'd like to say, delighted to be here and thanks for inviting me to the sports hub. I when every time if I walk up to here with either somebody in like in your class or yeah yeah and my teachers when my teachers walk up there they they're afraid and a lot of these yeah, students yeah. are afraid to step out with this yeah. in the dark. One of the problems is they can get over that wall, which that has to be resolved. Which is a fair fees wall, is it? No. Well, I can show you. See the yeah. they have the timber fence here. Yeah, and that look and that's um that's yeah that that that's a big concern. Um, I I saw the fencing going up, but at the moment you see kids, they had it easily jump up to it. But yeah. is that the temporary fencing or the more permanent fencing behind permanent it? Permanent fencing behind it, behind it and okay. um, sometimes um, no security guards up there. Sometimes stay up here. You can get over that wall, which that has to be. Now I often walk uh, at night time, and I often see a bit of activity. Yeah. Uh, in here, the pallets are fencing only around the athletics track. It's around no. the. It's around the. It's not around the walkway, you know, yeah, yeah. this walkway. walkway and yeah, the yeah. ridden track fence needs to be higher. And as I would agree straight away now, you know what I mean? Oh, any that's young, just any, ridiculous. Any young fella. Oh, she'd be over there you know, in two seconds. You'd fly over that now, I mightn't be able to, but... Um, yeah, you would, yeah. It's not high enough. No, it's not. There's a feeling now that the playground would have to be closed after a certain hour. Yeah. You know, you can't have the playground open 24-7. I do feel, and I say this to Dylan as well, once it starts to be used and you've people on site and yeah. work, you know, I, I think it'll become a safer place. You know where the new plaza is and they, they have like a big huge CCTV camera like yeah, yeah, yeah. like that high. If they have like three of them, like one here, one up there, one all around, yeah, yeah. the Guardia would easily come out straight away. But they're all great ideas, Dylan, you know what I mean? It's a fantastic facility, isn't it? Oh yeah, if, you know if, what I mean? If it's, if it's Please drive. Like, you know, drive. any damage to that track, very, very expensive. It's, um, that's the most expensive part of this project, that, that running track and yeah. the type of surface that's in it, you know. Nobody will not use that. Will, will that not use this? No. But look, it could take off, you wouldn't know. No, the window damage on this bit yeah. here, will it? Yeah. Shall I show you? So, so is this a skate park then? Yeah. So it's obviously not finished yet, is it? No. no. That gate shouldn't be open. Yeah, it shouldn't be. And, um... They should put a magnet, magnet like literally to like shut it, saying this is premises is not open yet. And right? the graffiti is shocking as well. Oh, yeah. And also, can you put in vids? Oh, look, we doggy. Like, oh yeah, the rubbish as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. We might just talk about about this gate being open as well. Uh, so basically, uh, the gate was open. Uh, people was up here, and it was open. Yeah. Um, here, the turned styles, you would easily hop up. Can you ask somebody in the counter to put a bollard? And why do you need bollards at that location? Um, so basically, they, like, when this fencing are gone, they would easily hop up on the curb and drive around. Try and drive around, yeah, well that's true as well, yeah. And the, the thingies are fine, but on the plants, that doesn't say about bollards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people don't like the bollards. Uh, they need to get bollards here bollards, all the yeah, way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's my first time walking around the site anyway, Dylan, so I want to thank you for inviting me up and, uh, yeah. and pointing out all the, uh, the many issues. Uh, very hard to summarise them, but just uh, what's yeah. in my own head, first of all, is people coming on the site, uh, walking their dogs and not putting their dogs on a lead. Litter is an issue, the provision yeah. of bins, uh, Dylan, antisocial behaviour. Yeah. Um, we need to get that absolutely right. I'm particularly concerned about the boundary wall and the height of the palisade fencing around the uh, the sports track. Yeah. Like these are issues that I'm going to have to highlight. But most importantly, I believe, Dylan, that the Taoiseach is coming on the 20th of May to officially open the site. Oh. So I'm hoping you'll be available that day. Yeah. I'll let your dad know, because I'd like to introduce you to the Taoiseach yeah. and tell the Taoiseach about your interest in this particular uh, sports hub. Yeah, and maybe get your photograph taken with the Taoiseach as well, yeah. you know? Yeah, I would. And you can talk to the Taoiseach about all your other concerns as well, you know what I mean? But yeah. don't, ah, look, he's a great guy. Yeah. But you'd like to he'd come along on the 20th of May, I hope, uh, Dylan, will yeah. you? Excellent. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that date in the diary, so. Okay. okay. And that's a wrap. You find a little bit of tip on Spotify or watching.